hello in this uh, video tutorial we'll show you how to install uh, informate uh, cms uh, from a mas from the master setup in a fresh machine uh, first of all uh, I'm, I'm trying to install the informate cms uh, uh, cms in a windows 7 machine windows 7 ultimate first of all we need to ensure that all the basic necessary components are actually already installed before installing with the um, uh, with the software for that thing what we need to do is we need to go to the programs and features then we need to turn windows features on or off click on turn windows features on or off then you need to ensure that uh, asp.net uh, is actually installed okay for that thing what we need to do is we need to go to internet information services then we need to go to worldwide uh, web services then uh, application development features and make sure that ASP and ASP.NET features are actually installed uh, in this machine in this case it is already installed in this machine so I'm just clicking the OK button and just I'm just directly I have already downloaded uh, the informate uh, setup uh, from the, from our website and I and actually I placed it here so let's uh, start it so let's start the installation um, Uh, I have this bare, this is a bare minimal machine with uh, Windows 7 as well as uh, Firefox actually installed. Um, in, in a win, Windows 7 by default, uh, uh, in, it is actually installed with an old version of um, um, Internet Explorer. You might either need to update the Internet Explorer uh, to the latest version. If you are running Windows 7, you might need to uh, an update it to the latest version of Internet Explorer. Uh, as as uh, uh, the software actually especially the player software actually depending depends upon this uh, uh, internet explorer as well okay so and, and let me check the uh, about uh, internet explorer version here uh, it is actually internet explorer 8 okay internet explorer 10 or 11 is actually available uh, for you um, uh, so if you want you can you can install internet explorer 11 or 10 but for for the time i am not installing anything I'm just trying to install the CMS part so it will take a few time uh, to extract everything I'm just checking it just extracting it now Prerequisite is actually um, the dotted framework uh, 4.5 needs to be installed in this machine, or it will try to try to download and install dotted framework 4.5 and above. Okay, uh, so it, it is actually checking for dotted framework 4.1 and did it, it see that uh, it is dotted framework 4.5 is not installed? So it is trying to install now. Uh, it's a prerequisite and it is trying to install the dotted framework 4.5 from the internet. Okay, <coughs> might take a bit time. Let me check. So it started, it started downloading it. Okay. So in Windows 10 and I, I believe in, if the if the machine is already installed with the dotted 4.5, then it will directly uh, try, start uh, start uh, install, installing the KTS Informate. Uh, uh, all the necessary components of latest informants since in this machine dotted framework is not installed uh, it is trying to install this <coughs> so everything will be automatic uh, it will automatically get installed and uh, run it uh, so another thing uh, once it gets installed another thing we need to ensure it uh, is is to give exceptions to the firewall if you want if you want to access the web application from outside this machine okay so um, um, that we will discuss it later first first let's install everything nowadays uh, actually people usually install everything in windows 10 uh, machines windows 10 professional um, with ias install or windows 7 i mean windows servers so if you want to install windows um, uh, informate cms then windows server is the ideal machine uh, to install it uh, if windows uh, server is not there uh, then you can install in windows uh, 10 as well with uh, the latest uh, version of IAS okay 
and IAS and ASP.NET installs. So if you want to ensure that uh, IA is already inst installed, uh, if you want to uh, ensure it, you just uh, type the uh, in the browser HTTP localhost and see whether IAS is actually launching it. Let me, uh, while we install this thing, let me try to launch this thing and see how it goes. So if you, if you type uh, HTTP, then localhost, if the web server is actually installed, then it should be able to launch the default uh, web server page that is the IAS page let's see whether we will be able to see that page we need to first ensure that the server is uh, web server is actually installed uh, in this machine uh, before we install the informed CMS and other stuff or other stuff okay It can be HTTP localhost or it can be 127.0.0.1. Okay, maybe I can I can take it in another tab. HTTP localhost. Okay, sometimes after Docker framework uh, 4.5 installation, you might need to restart it, uh, restart the um, machine as well. So it, it actually came. Okay, IAS is actually came. The default page is already came. See this. Okay. So the default page came. So IAS is actually installed. Okay, localhost or 127.0.0.1. Uh, it, uh, it shows that the uh, IAS is actually installed. IAS 7 is actually installed. So that part is actually fine. So now we need to uh, uh, trying to install. Uh, just finishing off uh, with the last uh, things in Docker framework 4.5. Let it finish. Let it finish. Might take a bit time. Let uh, let it finish. Yeah. Uh, it actually finishes the installation. Now it needs to restart it. Restart now. Okay. Just we will we will restart it and launch it again. Then we will launch uh, launch the setup again. Okay. Because it, tra it tries to install the necessary components now, then we need to restart it. We are just restarting it. It tries to configure uh, some of the final bits. Um, I think um, when we try to install this uh, Informate uh, um, uh, CMS and other related stuff, if, if the setup after the installation, if it asked for the restart, let it uh, let it let it restart the system. Then you try to install it. Otherwise, some of the components may not get installed uh, in Informate as well. So let it. Um, so let let it, let the, let launch the launch the installation setup again. Now, okay. Again, launching the installation setup. Now it started the regular installation. After uh, it actually installed the necessary components, now now it will install the uh, components. Yeah. Next. Now we have another redistributor of setup. Windows 2008. Okay. That I might also be get installed here. Okay, that's fine. Other than that, uh, this may not need any to restart all of the stuff. Finish. Now just accept the agreement. Enterprise system. Now by default, uh, we will be um, the setup will install Informate Player. Um, for our purpose, uh, for in, to install Informate uh, management application, um, web management application, what we need to do, we need to select this thing and untick this player, okay, and just um, uh, click on the next, then try to install it. So this will install the CMS, install Informate web based application here. So if everything goes correctly, then once it gets installed, it will automatically uh, place a shortcut of the web application in the um, star, uh, in the desktop and you will be able to automatically launch 
uh, uh, launch the web application from that and by, by default the user id and password will be admin admin okay it is trying to install it now ask me for the restart of the computer yes what we will do is we will, we will restart the computer see uh, you can see a shortcut here informate web if you if you double click it it will it should launch it if everything if installation goes correctly then it should automatically launch the informate web uh, i mean cms application and let's see whether we will be able to launch it or not so what it actually does is it's actually installed informate cms on this web server inside this machine okay and it is try to launch uh, the website uh, web application from this web server in uh, hosted in iis Okay, you can you can see the default address. Address will be machine uh, name, um, machine name with the port, default port to which it is actually installed. Let me show you that it is actually launching it. It actually um, the informator CMS is actually loaded. Um, now, when when it first launches, uh, you can you can see the URL like this. It is like the machine name colon nine nine zero nine. This is the port in which it is normally automatically get installed the port num port number is 9909 so if you want to access it from outside then you need to have um, uh, let's let's first log into the system admin and admin and see how what are all the features okay admin admin Then log in it, log into the system. So if everything is gets installed, this page will come. If if you see this page, then that means that it is already got installed correctly uh, without any any problem. Then we can easily log into the control panel. And if you want to access uh, this uh, page from outside this virtual box, then if, if you want, we can we can try it from here. Let me check. Maybe if you try it, if we give exceptions to this fault in virtual box 9909, then it will, you should be able to get it here. Okay. Uh, unfortunately we didn't put that exceptions for that port or disable the firewall so you didn't get it so what we will do is we will will try to disable the firewall for now okay and see whether you are we will be able to get it or not okay so for that thing we just need to launch it if the recording uh, then system and security go to system and security uh, windows firewall you can you have two options here either to fully disable the firewall or you can give exceptions to the port 9909 port that will also work okay so it's up to you to uh, how on how to configure it okay so it log into the system and when you log in it it will be by default it will be a 30 day trial period okay 30 day trial period um uh, once uh, if once you decide to purchase it then you need to uh, purchase a license key uh, for that thing you need to go to default settings 
once you uh, come to the default settings you will key, see a registration name corresponding uh, so for, uh, uh, for each machine installed there will be a different registration name okay so once you purchase uh, purchase uh, purchase the enterprise edition of software the uh, um, um, uh, the people uh, like company authorities will give you a registration key corresponding to the name and you need to enter that registration key to make it fully functional after the trial period of 30 days okay so let me let me configure the um, uh, firewall tan firewall windows on or off okay and for the time i'm just turning off the firewall to demonstrate the functionalities okay uh, maybe maybe i can i might need to disable all the things okay turn off this one as well okay then I'll, let me try to access it again from here uh, maybe i might need to put the ip address here okay command line then if, whether i am getting this machine name okay it's the same machine should be able to get it since it is in the same machine should be able to ping it okay ping so this is my native machine so i am able to access it uh, so it should it should work maybe because of the restart it, it didn't able to access it now let me try it again and now right now i actually bridged it as well so probably i might be able to log into the system from my own pc uh, on should be able to log in maybe let me let me within this day let me check the ip config let me check the ip address of that machine cmd i will show you how what are all the different ways of accessing it okay so normally if you run the informat cms in this machine you need to have static ip address now it is leased from a dhcp server so if you if you check ip config 192.168.0.2 is its ip address okay so what i will do is i will i will put see it actually came okay i will i will put the same as with the ip, IP address as well 192 192.168.0.2 okay and the port is 9909 this is the default port in which informate cms is actually installed from a setup so if you type it like this it should also come okay so remember please remember that when you when you configure um, this as an informate server or informate cms then you need to have a static ip address not a dynamic ip address dynamic ip address means if you restart it restart this machine then it is not coming not going to have uh, this ip address it might be something else actually it may not be uh, the same as this ip address and one more thing if you if the dns server is not configured in your lan environment it is always better that you specify the ip address rather than the name because sometimes in a network this name will not get resolved if the dns server is not installed in that machine in that case you need to definitely go with the ip address and in that uh, in that case definitely this needs to be a static ip address i think i had communicated some of the aspects of this um, um, configuration of informat cms i will be back with another tutorial thank you thank you for your time